Hello and welcome. In this video we have a pipeline and the pipeline is carrying oil and we're trying to calculate um, different questions that relate to the volume of this pipeline. Now this pipeline, this problem is 5,000 kilometers long, right? It's a 5,000 kilometer long pipeline. It's a pretty long pipeline and I, I guess I'm not sure though in the grand scheme of pipelines if it is comparatively long but that seems like a fairly long pipeline for me. However, my, my drawing is really off because the fact the diameter is almost minuscule in comparison to the length. So try and imagine that this pipeline goes way off the screen here. It's much, much longer because the diameter of the inside of the pipe right here is only 20, 20 centimeters. So the diameter inside the pipe is 20 centimeters. So the question we're, we're asking here is, okay, if that's the case, if it's a 5,000 kilometer pipeline and the diameter on the inside is 20 centimeters, um, how much oil will it take to fill one kilometer of the pipeline? So we're going to fill a fraction of the pipeline up. How much oil will it take? Well, I'm going to work in, in centimeters here. So one kilometer, right? What that actually ends up equaling, if you do the conversion, is a hundred thousand or about a hundred thousand, right, centimeters. So really, what we're asking is, how much oil does it take to fill a hundred thousand centimeters of length of this pipeline with this diameter? Well, of course, this is we're assuming this is a cylindrical shape. So what we can do here is apply our formula for finding the volume of a cylinder, and we're going to assume that this length right here is its is its height, right? because we're assuming that that's how much of the pipeline we're looking at right here. So the volume for a pipeline or a pipe or a cylinder is pi times the radius squared times the height. So in this case, what's the radius? Well, it's got to be half the diameter. So we take 20 and we divide it by 2 and that gives us 10 centimeters and that's our radius. Right? What's our height? Well, pi times the radius squared, which is of course going to be 100 centimeters squared, Right, we're squaring 10 centimeters, times the height. Well, the height in this case is 100,000 centimeters. If we simplify this, it looks like a very difficult multiplication, but multiplying with, with tens or hundreds or any bit power of 10, what we can do is write 1 and then count the number of zeros, which is, in this case, 7 zeros. So about 10 million right, pi cubic centimeters will fill one kilometer of the pipeline. They might not ask for the answer in terms of pi, so you can say, well, pi is over three. And you can do the calculation and estimate it to some degree. But we can say that, at the very least, the amount of oil that's needed is above, right, 30 million cubic centimeters of oil. So it's gonna be bigger than this. X, whatever the number is, is something definitely above that. We can never get an exact number because we're dealing with pi. But we definitely know it's above 30 million because, of course, pi is above 3. But what if we extended this question and they wanted to know, okay, well then, how much oil fills the entire pipeline? Well, here, this number fills, this is a much more exact number than 30 million because we're using pi. Well, this is the amount that fills one kilometer, but yet there are five kilometers of pipeline. So if this is the amount that fills one kilometer, the amount that will fill five kilometers has to be five times more. So instead of 10 million pi cubic centimeters, it will be 50 million, right, a much bigger number, pi cubic centimeters. And that's the amount that will fill this entire pipeline. Of course, we have to estimate because pi is above 3, which means that the total amount is a little bit above, or excuse me, above 150 million cubic centimeters, right, which is an estimation. So this, this amount is going to fill the call it wide, that's going to fill the entire pipeline, it's definitely above this amount, but it's a pretty good approximation. So really in this question, when we're given this problem about pipelines and diameter and oil, they're asking us about the volume of a cylinder. Alright, I hope this helped.